If you have taken on a new venture of moving into a new home or even an apartment, it can sometimes be quite hard to make your place feel like home. Well, you're here to give us tips and also some advice. Matana Katz, our art director in our studio. Good morning, Matana. Good morning. Where to start to make your place feel like home? Okay, well, moving is not easy. Once you go through the packing up of your old house, then getting everything to your new place, and then unpacking that, it can be overwhelming and absolutely exhausting. It's not a pleasant experience for anyone. But I feel if you can kind of strategize first of how you can make yourself as comfortable as possible in your new home or apartment, um, it can really help make it a slightly better experience <laughs> than, than it actually is. So if we look at first, um, Focus on one area. That's like one of the best and like pieces of advice I ever I ever ever received. Um, I moved recently, and it was an absolute nightmare. I mean, my boxes were everywhere. I couldn't walk properly. My clothes were all in suitcases. I slept on a mattress with just a blanket. Yes. It 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 really was not pleasant. Um, so I was told by my mom actually to just kind of pick one area, the area that you're in the most, and um, just, just unpack that one area. So. The bedroom and bathroom are the best place to start because you spend the most amount of time there. And those will really give you those key pieces of comfort. So look at unpacking, get your, your linen on your sheets, unpack your clothes into the cupboards or toiletries at the bathroom, and this can really help you a lot. What about children? I mean, most of the time it's a pleasant experience for them yes. packing up and then unpacking because, you know, the house is new. It's true. Um, a lot of them can be very excited. Uh, there's also anxiety involved. I mean, it's very hard also to mourn the loss of your old home, especially if you have a lot of memories there. But um, I think the key if you have kids is to make them a part of the whole process of decorating the house and choosing maybe the paint color for their bedrooms and making them excited about the process. Um, also, just trying to get involved in your community so that when they do start at schools, they're a little bit more prepped and feel yeah. more comfortable. But making them part of it is key to get everyone on board on the same page to enjoying the process. Now, a room or a house has different rooms and, and what to do. How does one create balance in this new home or mm. apartment? So balance is very important and I think the key with balance in a new home is to kind of cluster bigger furniture pieces together and smaller furniture pieces together. Um, this will help uh, create less of clutter, especially if you have a lot of stuff. Uh, also declutter, just get rid of stuff. I mean, this is your prime time now that you've got the excuse to actually go through everything and you, wouldn't, you would be amazed of how much stuff you accumulate and you don't even really Realize, and then actually when you're going through it and realize I actually don't need this it helps so much what about the use of color to your advantage I guess yeah so color can really make a room come alive I mean it's great it can create a vibrant energy um, and then also looking at mixing materials so look at wood and marble um, and coppers and material missing it all together can really help a room become a beautiful space for you to live in is there something that one should look at before trying to arrange the room yes of course very important so traffic flow is very important you need at least two feet of space uh, in between traffic flow. So think two feet. Of two feet. You should have two feet of space. That's like just easy traffic flow for the whole family moving in different areas. So corridors, passages, right. kitchen areas, um, bedrooms, uh, anything leading towards doors. So you need to be very conscious about that. And then, um, for example, as well, like when you place your TV, you know, some people just always kind of think, okay, we'll put it against the wall. But actually that can be worse. So rather look at your space and how the room is shaped and that'll determine where you actually place your furniture. So don't just put everything, all the big things against the walls, you know, try, be clever about your space. Um, especially um, a TV should be at least eight feet between a bed or a couch. I'm glad you said that, but what about opening drawers and even cupboards when they need to open and close exactly um, also a very important thing you you can't clutter a room you know you, if you have a cupboard uh, and drawers you have to be able to create space there to be able to open them up and that's once again focusing on the traffic flow so it'll be very important to make everything s run smoothly what about light in the room I'm thinking now about curtains I mean I recently moved and it was really hard to think you know I only have these three walls because the rest are mirrors what do I do with still getting enough light into the room so lighting is very important and it can really help create the ambience of the space and whether everything looks. And they always say it's very important to just kind of, once you've placed your main pieces of furniture, before you put mirrors and artwork, first do the lighting. Because that will determine where the best spots to actually display pieces that you want people to be able to see. Especially if you have a dinner party in the evening, you don't want, if you have very dim lighting and you have a beautiful piece of artwork, they're going to completely miss it. So you really want to be clever about it. 
Well, Matana, moving into a new home sounds a lot easier because you're here to give us some tips and exciting <laughs> ones at it. Matana Katz, our art director in our studio. So we hope that your moving into your home or apartment is a happy one. Of course, to join in the conversation and to continue it, you're welcome to go to our Facebook page, Expresso Show SABC3, or follow us on Twitter at Expresso Show.